Hi, you guys. So um, the enemy is really attacking the bride of Christ in the mind right now. Um, I feel it's so heavy in my spirit to talk about, um, you know, covering your mind, injecting your mind with the blood of Jesus Christ and asking the Lord to cover your mind with a wall of fire, praying against advanced technology, um, remote control technology, MK, mind control technology. Pray against that because the ultimate goal right now for the enemy is to get into your mind. And you want to make sure um, that all the information, everything that's being revealed to you is from the Holy Spirit and from the Lord and not the enemy. Okay. Um, he is very cunning. He is very um, deceiving. And he does things in a way that we would not think. And he know, he's been doing this for a very, very long time. Okay, so, so do not underestimate the enemy. Um, yes, yeah, so just really pray on that and fast. I know it's hard, like I've been struggling myself, but you know, the Lord will honor, you know, your heart and what you put into your fast. So this is a very crucial time right now. I feel like the enemy is using his final attempts, his final weapons right now to try and weaken the body of Christ, to weaken the bride. Um, so just be alert, you know, and, you know, stay in prayer, stay in fasting, stay in worshiping. You know, um, another thing I wanted to say, like what I've noticed is that, you know, God is very like literal about things. I know that um, there is a verse that I used to see all the time about covering your head when you pray. And I never used to take it seriously. And um, he wants you to cover your head when you're praying. Also, when you're worshiping, this is how I heard it. He doesn't force himself ever. He'll just make like little suggestions. That's how he does it with me. Like when I was worshiping, um, I heard him say, um, Moses used to worship me on his face, you know, so he didn't say worship me on your face. He's just like, well, he used to do it this way. So why don't you try? And, um, since then, that's how I've been doing it on my face. Literally. Um, if you read the Bible, a lot of the prophets and those that God used, that's how they worshiped him. Um, also there is a lot of power and I have seen this with my literal eyes. In worshiping, if you're not putting your hands up in the air, you may as well not even worship because that's where a lot of the power comes from when you have your hands up in the air. There was one time when I was worshiping and um, I was raising my hand and then I fell asleep for a minute and then I saw um, like demons behind me, but I couldn't turn. They were like on the side of me and I couldn't turn, but I seen that they were like pushing my hands down. They were trying to keep me from raising my hands in the air so that you know god always does that he lets me show he shows me what people think does not have power it literally has power everything that you do matter when you get on your knees um that matters when you're praying even though you don't see nothing you're just in confusion and you're lost it all matters when you're worshiping especially he inhabits in the um in our worship okay um this is listen Worship and praise is more powerful than fasting. I did not believe this for a long time. And the Lord kept showing me over and over. And I felt like fasting was more powerful because, you know, I felt like it was such a huge sacrifice because I love food. And and when I deny myself, I feel like God is absolutely going to honor my prayer and do what I say because he sees like how much I love food and I'm giving that up for him. So I thought that it was more powerful than worship and praise. And I just kept hearing where there's no worship and praise, there's no God. Okay, so your most powerful weapon right now is praise and worship. I had these um, entities living in me for a long time. And it was through worship and praise. I would worship like three times a day and at midnight and 3 a.m. You hear me? I'm giving you um, some some powerful stuff right now. Things that people think are um, have no uh, power. They absolutely do. 
Okay, so when I started, he told me to worship at 12 midnight. When I started doing that, though, it, those entities were coming out like a ripple effect, one after another. Soul ties, people that I were that I was intimate with, he was showing me literally. I would um, see them crying, saying, oh, I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. Or I would go to them and say that this is over and I'm leaving and this is it. You know, it was just one after another. And all that was happening through what? Praise and worship okay make this your weapon right here the the devil he cannot stand it like they will listen there were times when i would praise and worship and the lord actually would show me the atmosphere like on the wall the ceiling would be full with fire okay i've seen it with my own eyes this is how i know because there were times when i would pray and worship and do all these things and i didn't see anything i just felt like i was just getting attacked but i didn't think that they were as powerful as he was telling me and he would literally let me see from time to time how powerful and what would literally happen when we worship and praise like if if you're worshiping and then a, a demon tries to come in i've seen one before in my room and it turned just like the movies, like these movies, these horror movies, when we used to watch them, they are not fake. They are absolutely real. Like